Now that we got the basic shape and form of our pumpkin, we are going to add more detail so it actually looks like a pumpkin shape now. So take your wood modeling tool and just draw very lightly to divide your pumpkin into equal-ish sections. If it's not perfectly equal, totally okay. Pumpkins are normally not perfect. So divide it kind of like a pizza or a pie. And if you draw a line and it's a little funky, just get your finger wet a little bit and smooth over it and just redraw your line. That's why you don't wanna dive too deep into the clay with your wood modeling tool. Now take your ribbon tool and use the round side and just carve off just a little bit, not a ton. Do not carve too deeply. Now this is gonna be dependent on how thick the walls of your sphere are. So if you know that yours, your pinch pots were a little thin, do not carve a lot. I, my, I left mine on the tiny bit thicker side so that I would have enough to carve. Take your time during this. Notice I'm doing it in sections, not all at once, because I'm not even brave to do it all at once, because you're gonna cut a hole into your pumpkin if you do that. The rem when you carve off that clay, the remainder of that, put it on your other section of clay that you have. We do not waste clay here. If you just let little pieces of clay dry up, um, then it's just a waste. So if you put it with your big extra clunk of clay, it'll keep it moist and so then you'll get to use the clay for something else. So you're going to carve a stripe all the way from the top to the bottom of the pumpkin all the way around on every one of those lines that you drew. Remember, take your time and remember to do a little at a time and not to carve too deep or you may puncture your, your pumpkin and you'll have a hole in it. If, it. if you do get a hole in it, there is a way to fix it. You're just going to score and slip and add clay back to that part. If that's not the case, then maybe that's gonna be the eye where your jack-o'-lantern is that you're going to carve later. So don't think it's into the world if you accidentally carve all the way through, but try your best not to. So once you have all of the pieces carved out, you can already see it's starting to look more like a pumpkin. The thing is, it looks more like lines right now. We don't really want it to look like carved lines. We want it to look like the shape of the pumpkin. So you're going to get your sponge lightly damp, run it across the line, and then use your thumb or one of your fingers to press the sides of the carving just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the in my pumpkin already. It doesn't look as much carved and it looks smoother. You can definitely see it in comparison to the ones that aren't this way. So you can do that for every single one, just like before. Smooth it out, take your time. Remember not to add too much water, just damp enough where you can smooth it without cracking and so on and so forth. Take your time. Notice it is taking a bit of time. You're smoothing it. You're pressing it. You're continuously adding moisture because you've handled the clay a lot already. So the clay has lost moisture. So you notice the more time you work with clay, the more often you need to use your damp sponge. So already you can see a transformation in my pumpkin. Now we're going to do the last step to really make it not to look like just drawn lines. You're going to use the other end of your wood modeling tool and you're just going to press at an angle. So let me show you it again. Press at an angle and smooth it out. Press at an angle and smooth it out. So you're really creating more of a roundness here. There you go. Some clay may come off, that's fine. Notice the difference already? It looks a lot less like a line. So each step is gonna make your pumpkin look better and better. And also notice on my wood modeling tool, I'm that flat side kinda has a lip on one side. I'm not using the part that has the lip. I'm using the rounded side so that it's a lot smoother. 
and just take your time and smooth it out. So now we don't just have lines or creating more form. We're really going to notice with clay, the more time you put into it, the more details you put into it, even honestly, sometimes going over, over, over and over again is going to make your form look better because you're just putting more time into it. So I'm just going to finish these out. Remember, I'm holding my modeling tool at an angle and pressing and smoothing it out. There we go. I'm doing it from the top all the way to the bottom. Looks like I have, I think, one, maybe two left. I think it's one left, though. Once you're done with this stage, you're really going to see it's starting to look like an actual pumpkin, which is really exciting because before we just had a ball, literally a sphere, and that was it. No one would have known what type of form you had. So I had about five, no, six lines. Your pumpkin may have less. It may have more. That is okay. But now you can see it looks like a pumpkin. Yay!